My name is Marta Ugas. I'm a scientist in EFSA working on the area of biological hazard. That is the area of food pathogens that can cause disease in humans. Today I'm here to explain what is antimicrobial resistance and how is it linked to food safety. Antimicrobials, such as antibiotics, are commonly used in human, but also in veterinary medicine to treat a wide variety of infectious diseases. However, some microorganisms causing disease have developed resistance to antimicrobials. If a microorganism is resistant to a certain antibiotic, the treatment becomes ineffective. Bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics are an increasingly health threat both in the European Union and globally. The overuse or misuse of antibiotics in human and veterinary medicine has been linked to the emergence and the spread of antimicrobial resistance. Following the treatment of animals with antimicrobials, the bacteria that live in their gastrointestinal tract can become resistant to a given antimicrobial, and it can then contaminate the food, but also the environment. Food can be a vehicle then in transmitting the resistance bacteria because zoonotic bacteria live in their gastrointestinal tract. So then it can also go from the animals through food back to humans. To combat antimicrobial resistance, actions in many areas are needed. As part of this, it's important to assess the factors which may lead to the development of resistance and the spread of resistant bacteria in food and in animals. It's important to keep the treatment of animals and also humans with antimicrobials for when this is really needed, as antimicrobials are very important therapeutic tools which need to be protected. In the European Union, decision makers and scientists are working together to fight antimicrobial resistance and to protect citizens based on a dedicated strategy for combating this threat. The European Union is also active at the international cooperation to combat antimicrobial resistance globally. In addition to the measures taken at the EU level by the regulators, you can also contribute to minimize the risk of antimicrobial resistance by following good hygienic practices in the kitchen and in the household, such as washing hands thoroughly before preparing food in the kitchen. 